Von Weiss, deep to receive for the Rattlers. And it will be William Roper who will kick it off for the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. And we're just about ready to get things going here in Orangeburg. Here's the opening kick. It's a high end over end kick. And it's going to be fielded by Lamont Bice. And Bice at the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 midfield. Bice at the 45, 40, 35, and finally run out of bounds at the 34-yard line of South Carolina State. Lamont Bice with an outstanding opening kickoff return. Seemed to be a little bit of confusion on that as by both receivers went over thinking they were going to get it. But Bice found a nice hole right up the middle, and he's going to start the rallies in tremendous field position. Rattler's going to start first and 10 at the South Carolina State 34-yard line, moving left to right or heading toward the south end zone. And again, Rattler's decked out in all white today, orange helmets, orange numbers, white pants, and Damian Rattlers Fleming sends them to the line of scrimmage with triplets, three receivers to the far boundary. We isolate Casey Glines over here to the near side, and on first down, Damian Fleming hands it off. And the Rattler running back fights his way close to the 31-yard line, and that is James Owens, the ball carrier. And right off the bat, Mike, the Rattlers get a little uh, uh, excitement going with that return by Lamont Bice. Yeah, good, and he showed good speed, Keith, once he got out into the open field. Interesting also that the Rattlers are going to start out in the spread formation instead of that tight shotgun, look, uh, the tight Two tight end look. James Owens picks up three yards on first down. It's second down and seven to go for the Rattlers from uh, the Bulldog 31 yard line this time. Uh, Damian Fleming tosses it out here for Linworth Lenny. He cuts back inside and fights his way inside the 30 down to about the 28 yard line. And it's going to bring up third down and about three to go for a Rattler first down after that uh, successful toss and catch from Damian Fleming to Linworth Lennon. Yeah, they throw the bubble screen. It's going to be third down and about three to go, Keith, but where the ball is, it could be four down territory. That would be a long field goal attempt if the Rattlers don't pick up the first down. Third down and three for FAMU. 13.40 to play. We're just getting underway here in Orangeburg, but the Rattlers opened up with an outstanding kick return by Lamont Bison. Have the football at the 27-yard line of South Carolina State. Damian Fleming... And the Rattlers, we've got movement and uh, penalty markers on the play. It looks like the Rattlers are going to be guilty of uh, illegal procedure. It looks like just about everybody was on the move, but there was no snap. And that's going to make it a tougher situation now, third down and about eight to go. Yeah, from third and three to third and eight now. Different uh, situation uh, for the offense. Ball is resting at the Bulldog 32-yard line. All right, Rattlers break the huddle. Casey Glines and Linworth Lennon will work the far boundary and will flank twins over here to the near side as well. It will be Dwayne Harvey and uh, Damian fires across the middle. Got a man wide open. It's Harvey at the 15. Harvey at the 10, the 5. Harvey, did he get in? They're going to say he stepped out at about the two-yard two line. line. But it's a first and goal to go for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. And Mike, since opening up that offense, the Rattlers have really begun to move the football offensively. Yeah, I think what, what really happened, Keith, they've unchained Damian Fleming. You, and you now you see the skill that Damian Fleming has hung in the pocket. Uh, good strike. Caught his man, able to run down the field after the catch. It's just what you want out of your quarterback. First down and goal to goal for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at the South Carolina State. Three-yard line, 12.54 to play. First quarter, the Rattlers are knocking on the door in the red zone for the first time. This afternoon, first and goal, Rattlers at the Bulldog three. We flank a receiver wide to the near boundary. Out here is Ad Mason Felix. And the Rattlers are going to put three in the backfield and adjust it offset eye with Damian. And we play action. Fire in the end zone. Pass is going to be ruled incomplete. Looked like the intended receiver down there had it. It was James, James Owens, Owens yeah. but the, give the Bulldog defender some credit, Mike, who fought to rip that ball away from Owens before he could get control. Yeah, actually, in that formation, Keith, is still a pistol, but actually they've added a fullback to the pistol formation. Second down and goal to go from the Bulldog three with 12.39 to play in the first quarter. The Rattlers are threatening. And again, the Rattlers send 
at Mason Felix wide to the near boundary wing right this time and a pistol formation for Damian Fleming and this time he hands it off to the up back who lunges forward to the one yard line nice. that's Lamont Bice and it's going to bring up now third down and goal to goal for the Rattlers from the Bulldog one. Yeah and that's one of the few times this year that we have seen both tailbacks in the game, the Rattlers have come up with a new wrinkle here, both tailbacks in the game at the same time with Lamont Bice actually in the fullback spot. All right, Lonnie Lockett checks in at one fullback position. James Owens will be the eye back. They're going to load up the eye formation. Wing right for the Rattlers, two tight ends. And now we check the Bulldog coverage. On third down and one, we give it to James Owens. As Owens He's is in. in. Touchdown, fam you. James Owens goes in from one yard out. And the Rattlers cash in on the great uh, kickoff return by Lamont Bice with 11.53 to go here in the fourth quarter. The Rattlers have taken a six to nothing lead. Short drive after the great Lamont Bice uh, return and a couple of good throws on that drive from Damian Fleming. All right, Chase Vonador on to attempt the point after. It will be Carson Royal who will hold. Here's the snap placement. Kick is airborne and it's good. And so with 11.53 to play in the first quarter, Florida a and 7, South Carolina State nothing. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. The Rattlers all sent to kick it off and it will be Tevin Richard. Well, check that. Well, he's well, now, loose. He's going to get a get, good return. 45 and bumped out of bounds. It was number 82 for South Carolina State. Caleb Davis. Uh, Caleb is uh, 5'11", 180 pounds. A redshirt senior for Quinby, South Carolina. And the Bulldogs now are going to have their first possession of the afternoon. They'll start first and 10 from their own 47-yard line. And let's take a look at the South Carolina State offense at wide receiver Taquan West. Dominic line. Wilson First is the left tackle. Bulldogs. Avery Grant is the left guard. Tristan Bellamy, the center. The right guard is Devin Flowers. Charles Henderson, the right tackle. And Tamara Kemingway is the tight end. At quarterback, it's Richard Q, and he hands it off to Justin Taylor. And Taylor is going to be hit and ridden down behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like big number 92. Michael Lovejoy for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Uh, Tyler McDonald, Mike, will be the H-back. And Caleb Davis, the wide receiver. Second down and 10 now for South Carolina State. They gave him credit for getting back to the line of scrimmage. Wing right this time for Richard Q. And Q this time. Boy, that pass is deflected. That's a great defensive play by the Rattlers. It was the throwback. It was a kill blunt. Mike, who came barreling through and just batted the pass down. Boy, what if Akil could have picked that one off and taken it to the house? Yeah, they tried to go with a wide receiver screen to the short side of the field. It's going to bring up third down and 10, and this is a perfect situation for this Rattler defense to get off the field here with a three and out. Third down and long. Twins to the far boundary. Isolated receiver over here to the near side for Richard Q. And Q wants to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Fires downfield. Got a man open, but the pass is incomplete. It's fourth down for South Carolina State, and the Rattler defense goes three and out on the Bulldogs' first possession of the afternoon. Yeah, had a man open on the double move on the far side, but he was not able to hit him. And the Rattlers are going to have to shore that up a little bit. Can't have them running free, but they get off the field with a three and out. Nick Belcher checks on the punt for South Carolina State, and it will be... Devonte Terry Johnson deep to receive from the Rattlers of Florida A&M with 11:05 to play here in the first quarter. The Rattlers lead seven to nothing. Belcher gets off the kick end over end. Terry's going to field this at the 13 yard line, 15, and going to be taken down at about the 17 yard line. So the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. And Mike, let me uh, say hi to Sylvia and Don. They're listening in down in uh, Boynton Beach. And also want to say hello to um, uh, my good friend Teddy Brown. Uh, Teddy Brown over in Palatka. And Teddy uh, just had uh, a little knee surgery. So he's recovering, but he's tuned in to the Rattlers today. And I want to say uh, also a uh, shout out to uh, Mrs. Mays and all of the high flying Eagles at Oak Ridge Elementary School in Tallahassee, Florida. They're all listening. And they're all tuned in because Coach Earl Holmes is an Oak Ridge alum. 
All right, here we go. Rattlers hand it off to James Owens, and Owens stumbles and trips. He may lose a yard on the play, make it second down and 11 to go for the Rattlers of FAMU. Yeah, this has, had, has been an outstanding defense uh, for the Bulldogs. They've got uh, three players who are being touted as kids who may be able to play on Sundays, two linebackers and their free safety, Camaro McFadden. Yeah, we're going to lose three on the play, actually, as uh, James slipped down. We're playing on uh, prescription turf here in South Carolina. You can see pockets. Uh, they've had some heavy rains up this way, and you can see some pockets of moisture on the field. Damian flushed out of the pocket now, looks downfield, fires. That pass is caught by James Owens. He turns up field, and James Owens goes down at about the 28-yard line. He's going to be close to a Rattler first down. It's going to bring up third down and short for the Rattlers. We're going to pick up uh, about uh, 11, 11 yards on that play. Third down and two for a Rattler first down. Yeah, didn't get the greatest spot. There looked like he was a little bit closer to the 30-yard line, but again, it's a short yardage, manageable third down. 9.44 to play, first quarter. The Rattlers lead 7-0 and face a third down and two on a possession play from our own 27-yard line. Damian Fleming on the read option, keeps, and boy, he's, he's going to lose yards yep. on the play. Yeah, that's a good defensive job that time by the front of the South Carolina State Bulldogs. And so it will force the Rattlers to punt. Colby Blanton will check on for his first punt of the afternoon. Did a great job, Mike, a week ago against Norfolk State in terms of position, field positioning uh, for the Rattlers. And let's see if he can't pick that up and continue here this afternoon. The Bulldogs are going to drop uh, number 30, uh, Darius Drummond, out of Asheville, North Carolina, 5'10", the 200-pound senior to receive this kick and boy Colby gets off a nice kick Drummond's going to feel this or call fair for the fair catch at the 32 yard seven. line and the Bulldogs will take over for their second possession of the afternoon from their first and 10. And Colby almost had that punt blocked it, they came very close to getting the, the Rattler defense will start James Brodus 6'2", 245 out of Choctaw Francis May 6'10", 295 out of Minnesota Sean Ward 6'2", 240 he's from Fort Lauderdale and Texas A&M. The linebackers, Michael Ducree and Akil Blunt on the outside. It's William Smalls and Bobby Jackson, the inside linebackers. Patrick Aiken and Terry Johnson are our corners. Devon Robinson and John Ojo are the starting safeties. All right, here we go. First down and 10 for South Carolina State. 8.48 to play. And Richard Q wants to pass. Fires over the middle. That pass is caught by the big tight end. And he turns up field and is going to be taken down about a yard oh, short of the first down. It was Caleb Davis, 5'11", 172-pound, a redshirt senior out of Quinby, South Carolina. Mike, when I saw that, Quinby, I had to look it up because I thought maybe it was Quincy, South Carolina. But it, no, it is, in fact, Quinby, Q-U-I-N-B-Y, South Carolina. Second down and one, gain of nine on first down. And they give it to Justin Taylor. And Taylor's going to be trapped at the point of attack Justin and Taylor dropped. His forward progress will be marked at the line of scrimmage. But it'll be third down and one for South Carolina State. Yeah, he actually lost a yard, Keith. It's going to be, that's going to make it third down and two now back at the 40-yard line. 8.03 to go, first quarter. 7-0, the Rattlers lead if you just tuned in here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. And this time they give it to Taylor again, and he's going to lose more yards on the play as the Rattler defense continues, Mike, to play well. Jonathan Pillow, the last man to get there, but he was able to clean it up. And he, they, you're right, Keith, they're going to lose another yard, and they're going to bring up another punting situation. 7.41 to go here in the first quarter. Rattler's leading 7 to nothing. It's early, but let, let's remind Rattler fans that the last time we played here in Orangeburg, the Rattlers were victorious. Broke a long losing streak to the Bulldogs. Nick Belcher on to punt. And it is Terry Johnson, Devontae Terry Johnson, that is, deep to receive for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. 7-0, FAMU leads. And Belcher's kick, boy, just gets it off, all nearly blocked. Johnson calls for the fair catch and makes it at the 15-yard line where the Rattlers will begin. On first down, uh, Damian Fleming hands it off to James Owens, who scoots for seven yards and makes it second down and three now for the Rattlers. The ball's resting at our own 22-yard line. Checked at the 23-yard line. Second down and three. And, Mike, the Randall offense uh, has come to play as well. Yeah, actually, Keith, there was a flag thrown by the field judge. 
And uh, he went in, discussed it with the referee. He goes back and picks it up, and now there's still some discussion going on here. Yeah, second down and three as the ball is positioned now. Yeah, that last play, a little read option. And uh, Damian Fleming. Well, look, all the Rattlers are now signaling something to the sideline. But we have no explanation from the referee what it could be. And he winds the clock. Second down and three for the Rattlers. As the South Carolina State Band plays uh, get up for the Bulldogs. 6.36 to go. First quarter, Rattlers leading 7-0. Second and three. Damian Fleming, orange helmets are down. Here comes the blitz. Rattlers hand it off, and boy, we run smack dab into the blitz on the stop is big number 93, James Robinson for South Carolina State. And uh, we're going to lose yards on the play and make it third down now and six to go. Uh, we lose three yards on the play. Yeah, it's not a real big defense for South Carolina State, but they are very quick. And we saw some of that quickness in the penetration and the tackle for loss. Third down and six now for FAMU. Ball resting in our own 20-yard line. 5.53 to go first quarter. Damian Fleming with twin receivers to either side and James Owens in the backfield. And, boy, Damian is hit. Boy, got a, hat, a hand to the helmet. Not sure if it was a – apparently did not grab the face mask. But it's a, once again an outstanding blitz by South Carolina State. It's going to make it fourth down now and about 13 yards to go. So we lost seven yards on that play, and it's going to make Colby Blanton punt this football from the end zone. Yep, the, the, the uh, receivers for the Bulldogs are lined up at about midfield. Yeah, Darius Drummond uh, was back to receive, as well as Stephen Murphy. This is Drummond at the 45-40, and he's going to be hit and dropped at about the 38-yard line of the Rattlers. And so the Bulldogs will begin first and 10 from there with outstanding Mike field position. Yeah, uh, they were able to get a return down into Rattler territory as they were lined up at about midfield. Good punt by Blanton, though, good high punt. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Rattlers have that early 7-0 lead. Bulldogs threatening. Uh, we'll have the football at the Rattler 38-yard line. Richard Q. Uh, will be sending uh, receivers. Tyler McDonald is one of the H-back. He's going to flank wide to the far boundary. And a receiver here at near side and load up the pistol. And they give it to a new back in the backfield for South Carolina State. Dondre Freeman Lewis. Or Dondre Lewis Freeman, that is. And uh, he's going to pick up about five yards on the play. Second down and five. For South Carolina State with 4.43 to go now. Yeah, they also in the pistol formation. And again, they give it to, no, this time it's Richard Q. And Q stumbles forward to the 29-yard line of the Rattlers. He's very close to a South Carolina State first down, but it's going to bring up third down and short for South Carolina State. Yeah, running some midline read option. That time Richard Q pulls it out, and it's going to be close to that first down. Third down and inches for South Carolina State with 413 to play. Ball's resting at the Rattler 29-yard line. And Justin Taylor checks back in the backfield for the Bulldogs. Wing right, and Richard Q keeps behind that big offensive line. And as they lunge forward, looks like he's got the first down. Yeah, he didn't get a lot, though, Keith. It's going to depend on the mark. They're not moving the change yet. And now they do signal first down. And so South Carolina State will have a first down and 10 now at the Rattler 28-yard line. And the Bulldogs trail 7-0 here on their homecoming in Orangeburg. Uh, turning into an overcast kind of day now. Richard Q. Twin receivers to the near boundary, isolated to the far side, play action. And Q wants to pass, sets up, fires downfield in the end zone. That pass... Is caught for a touchdown. That's an outstanding throw and catch. And on the receiving end is Dennis Rowe for South Carolina State. The Bulldogs are on the board. 
with 321 to play in the first quarter. Yep, actually should have had a holding call back in the backfield, but that's a good throw from Richard Q. It was Terry Johnson trying to come all the way across the field. I'm thinking he was expecting safety help on that. None came. And actually down, there's a flag down on the far side of the field. Nick Belcher will be on to attempt the point after to tie the ball game up for South Carolina State. And Richard Q will hold once the officials huddle about the penalty flag on the field. I think it may be because of uh, the FAMU sidelines after that last touchdown. Sideline warning That's what it is. No penalty, just a sideline warning. All right, sideline warning is the call. And um, Nick Belcher on to attempt the point after. Richard Q will hold for South Carolina State. Here's a snap placement. Kick is on the way. And we've got whistles and penalty markers on the field. Yeah, we're having a hard time getting this extra point kick. Late arriving crowd here in uh, Oliver Dawson Stadium, but it is certainly looking as though it's going to be a packed house. Yeah, illegal procedure is the call against South Carolina State. So it will back the Bulldogs up five yards, and they'll kick it again. All right, Nick Belcher now. The ball will be teed up at about the 15-yard line for this extra point. And here's the snap and placement. Kick is blocked. And so the extra point is no good. The Rattlers hold a one-point lead with 3.21 to play in the first quarter. It's 7-6 FAMU. And we'll be back after these words from our local spot, our net network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. William Roper all set to kick it off for South Carolina State. And boy, he nails this one. Won't be a return on this one. James Owens is going to let it roll out of the back of the end zone. And so the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from our own 25-yard line. And it was Derek Connor, the 6'4", 225-pound redshirt junior from Miramar High that blocked that extra point and allows the Rattlers to keep that one-point lead. It's 7-6 to six here in Orangeburg. And the Rattlers hold a slim one-point lead. And let's see. Get some more offense going. Started off really, really good in the early part of the first quarter. We're down to the end of the first quarter now with 321 to play. Damian Fleming with two backs, Lonnie Lockett and James Owens. And we hand it off to Owens. Owens tries to turn the corner and turn upfield on that little zone read play. And Owens is going to pick up a couple of yards. Let's see. Looks like uh, three or about four. four yards on that run. Make it second down, about six to go for Rattler first down. And that's the way you want your running backs to run the zone play. It's a one-cut play. You go until you, you get your uh, crease. You make one cut and you head it upfield. You can't dance around. And James did a good job that time of heading upfield. Casey Glines is isolated to the far boundary. Twin receivers now here to the near side. It's uh, Blaine Harvey and Linworth Lennon. Lonnie Lockett goes in motion. We hand it off to Owens once again. And James fights his way across the 30, out to about the 31-yard line. And it's going to make it third down. And about three to go for a Rattler first now. Yeah, and again, a manageable yardage situation uh, for Damian Fleming to keep this drive alive. And the Rattlers need to convert on these third downs. They're looking good on the first and second down. We didn't get the third and short. Yeah. End up going, getting a penalty and going backwards. Keith and Mike, keep an eye on number 71, FAMU left tackle Daniel Lennon. He uh, spent the past series on the sidelines getting his left ankle or his left knee taped up, but he's back in there on the offensive line. All right, here we go, Damian Fleming. This time play action. Damian kicks. He's got the first down. He's got more. He's at the 40, 45-yard line and driven out of bounds, but it's a first down for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Move those chains. And that's a new play also, Keith. That was a quarterback counter. They actually pulled the backside guard to lead Damian Fleming that time. They fooled the Bulldogs, and it's a first down at the 46 of the Rattlers. 
Minute 46 to play the Rattlers with the ball at our own 46 yard line. Moving left and right, we're heading toward the south end zone. And uh, Rattlers with a 7 to 6 lead if you're just tuning in. It's homecoming here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Rattlers go triplets to the far boundary now. Three receivers there. Casey Glines is isolated. Play action. We toss it. Oh, that's a great looking play. That pass is caught. At Mason Felix. At Mason Felix. Damian fakes the handoff and caught Felix streaking right across the middle. And he's going to pick up seven, almost seven yards on that play. Second down and three. The Rattlers ball's resting now in Bulldog territory at the South Carolina State 47-yard line. Yeah, it's a good run, uh, mix of run and pass right now. Bulldog defense is definitely back on their heels. Yeah, they're guessing. They're guessing now because the Rattler offense is uh, certainly not one-dimensional at this point. Second down and three, and it's Al Tariq McPurse, and McPurse is going to lunge forward to get the first down. He's rear If he didn't get the first down, he's very close. Yeah, and, and Keith, uh, Coach Holmes talked about wanting to run the football. Well, he can run it now. He's got the defense spread out. And now you have some uh, lanes up front that you can run through. Yeah, he's effectively used the pass to open up the to run. To open up his run, yeah. First and 10 Rattlers. Ball's resting at the Bulldog 44-yard line with 29 seconds left in the first quarter play. The Rattlers leading 7-6. Casey Glines is isolated to the far boundary. Twin receivers to the near side. Two back set this time for Damian Fleming. And Fleming this time on the read option keeps. And he's going to lunge forward. He's going to get two, maybe three. We'll see where they spot the football. And that may be the last play of the first quarter. Yeah, Fox running down under five. Rattlers going to take that first quarter lead. But Damien's going to pick up three. It'll be second down and seven. When play resumes, that's the end of the first quarter with the Rattlers leading seven to six. Orangeburg, South Carolina. The Rattlers of Florida A&M have a seven to six lead over the South Carolina State Bulldogs. The Rattlers are going to be looking at a second down and seven as Damian Fleming picks up three yards on that first down run as the Rattlers now headed toward the west end zone, uh, moving right to left as you look at your radio. Damian Fleming has one back in the backfield. That's James Owens. Three receivers spread to his right, and again, uh, looks like a ball got onto the field there. We're going to reset the clock. Casey Glines isolated over here to his left. Three receivers to his right. Bulldogs showing blitz. And Damian gets the pass looking quick. Oh, that ball was intended for Casey Glines. But one of the linebackers. Thomas coming across the formation is going to tip that football and knock it down. Going to bring up third down and seven now with the ball at the Bulldog 41. Had Clacy Glines wide open on that play, but give Joe Thomas credit for getting into the passing lane. Hey, Mike, a, a quick start for the FAMU Rattlers is definitely what they need. They need to keep it going. Of the 141 points allowed by SE State, 89 of them have been in the first half, so FAMU needs to cash in uh, in this second quarter. Yeah. Press coverage again on Glines over here. And Fleming back to pass. Boy, that pass, was, he was hit as he threw the football. But it's not a fumble. It's a forward pass. It's a forward it's pass. Incomplete. They brought the safety blitz. And that was Kamario McFadden coming that got to Dam Damien. tried to jump up and get it over him. Couldn't. And it's going to make it fourth down and seven to go for the Rattlers. Colby Blanton on the punt. But now we're, we're seeing a, a, a game of field position. The game is settling down now, Mike, and it's becoming a chess match. Colby on the punt, and it's Drummond deep to receive for South Carolina State. And Colby gets off a nice high kick. Drummond makes the fair catch at the 10-yard line, and South Carolina State will begin first and 10 and, from there. And you know, there was a time when Kobe was uh, struggling with his punting. He seems to have gotten it back together now, and that's an excellent punt down at the 10-yard line. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get chased there, too. Got to get chased there. Got some first quarter stats, 7-6 to score. Rattlers pick up three first downs. The Bulldogs only two. Damian Fleming in that first quarter, 4 of 5 for 54 yards. Richard Q, 2 of 4 for 37. Leading rusher, Damian Fleming, with 17 yards. 
All right Q on the read option gives to uh, his running back. That's uh, Dondre uh, Lewis Freeman. And he rumbles forward for about three maybe four. We'll call it second down about six to go for South Carolina State. And this time, Q. Well, that pass oh, is picked off by Akil Blunt. And Akil spinning and turning and fights his way to the two yard line. Akil Blunt picks off the pass, and the Rattlers have it at the Bulldog, two. And Keith, it was the exact same play that you said he should have picked off the last time. They run the quick wide receiver screen into the short side of the field. Akil showed great hands because he wasn't that far from the quarterback. Grabs it, spins and turns like a running back, gets down to the two. And the Rattles are set up again inside the Bulldog 5. All right, Akil Blunt, he's having a phenomenal sophomore season, Mike. And he sets the Rattlers up at the South Carolina State two-yard line with 14-12 to play in the first half. Yep. A tremendous show of hands that time by Akil Blunt. Hey, Akil might need to work in a little tight end on offense. Here we go, Rattlers. First and goal to go at the Bulldog 2. And it's going to be Lamont Bice. He'll be the eye back with Lonnie Lockett in the eye formation. Looks like the Rattlers are going to go two tight ends, Mike. It's a power formation for FAMU. Orange helmets are down. The Rattlers only have, yeah, they've got a wing back over on the side here. All right. And uh, the wing goes in motion. They give it to Lamont Bice, and Bice is in. Touchdown, FAMU. Lamont Bice from two yards out. Lamont Bice, the power back. Got a head of scream and a good block from his fullback, Lonnie Lockett. He goes in from three yards out, and the Rattlers now have a 13-6 lead with 14.08 to go before the half. And, boy, the Rattlers are turning into homecoming spoilers. It's early, but I, playing, like, I yeah. like the 13-6 lead. Yeah, playing good so far. Carson Royal will, will hold. Here's the snap placement. Chase's kick is airborne. And it's good. And so with 14.08 to play in the first half from Orangeburg, our score, Florida and m 14, South Carolina State 6. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Gilda Cobb Hunter and her brother Roger, who was the former SGA president back in the day. <laughs> and here we go, Rattlers with the 14-6 lead. Here's the... Drummond on the kick return is going to take it out to about the 22-yard line. And, and we're going to save Gilda when we can talk to her and get some good information because, you know, she runs this area. She's a rattler, but she runs the Bulldog country. 14-6, the Rattlers leading South Carolina State. Always good to see you, girl. Gilda's other brother, Selvin Cobb, is uh, holding down the Rattler boosters as well. And we got a good looking show around us across the way. He's over there. All right, here we go. Bulldogs, first down and 10 from their own 22 yard line. Richard Q on the read option. Boy, hands it off, and the Rattlers are all over that play. They hand it off to Justin Taylor, the 5'10, 215 pound redshirt freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia, transferred from Kentucky, as Mike told you in the pregame show. And he's going to be trapped for a two yard loss on the play. Yeah, Devin Roberts that time on the safety blitz got great penetration and was able to make the tackle in the background. Second down and long in the Rattler defense right now, forcing some passing situations. And Akil Blunt lights up right over here. They go away from Akil this time, toss it out here. The pass is. Going to be caught over there. It looks like it's Brandon King, number 83. And uh, let's see. Brandon is going to make it third down and about one for South Carolina State. Boss resting at the Bulldog 31-yard line. 13-10 to go in the first half. It's up 14 to 6, FAMU. And, boy, low snap. Boy, and Q gets that pass. Boy, he was rocked in the backfield by... Brandon Denmark, he just did get that pass away. It's going to bring up fourth down and one for South Carolina State. And give that Rattler defense some credit, Mike. They are, they're hitting people out there. They're hitting, and they're doing a good job of stopping these short yardage plays right now, and they're going to get the ball back to their offense. And we talked about field position, and uh, Terry's going to line up. Terry Johnson from FAMU is going to line up at about the 35, 34-yard line to receive this kick. 
And if he can advance it at all, we'll get decent field position. Yeah. And oh, the kick it. is shanked. We're going to get even better field position. Ball's going to roll. It takes a bulldog roll, but it's going to roll dead at the 45-yard line of FAMU where the Rattlers will take over first and 10. Yeah, Rattlers get a good break right there as that ball came off the side of the foot of the punter. And they're going to start, as you say, again, in good field position. 12.50 to go before halftime. Rattlers leading 14-6. to six. And so Florida A&M will start at our own 45, leading 14-6. to six. Elton, uh, give us some flavor down from the sidelines. Down here on the sidelines, uh, the, the FAMU sidelines are definitely pretty excited and definitely fired up. They've been fired up since pregame when I was here during the warm-ups. Uh, Coach, Fu Coach Fuller, Corey Fuller, uh, led the team in the, in the huddle, got them real fired up. He even um, started yelling at Coach Holmes uh, to get him a jersey and some equipment. He wanted to give at least one quarter in this game. Uh, he said <laughs> if, he, if he could find a, a uniform for him, he'd get there and get one quarter. So pretty fired up down here, and of course this early start definitely adds fuel to that fire. We yep. got a penalty marker on Substitution infraction. Rattlers had too many men in the formation. And so that'll back us up. We'll start after the assessment. And the Rattlers sub it again, so let's make sure we don't get another penalty right here as the play clock also has already started. We'll start at our own 40. It'll be first down and 15 now for the Rattlers. We can get a first down at the 45-yard line of South Carolina State. A Dwayne Harvey, Linworth Lennon, and Ad Mason Felix triplets to the far boundary. Casey Glines is isolated over here to the near side. And on first down, we hand it off to Al Tariq McBurst trying to get to that corner. Can't go. We've got a penalty marker thrown. Got a penalty marker down. Well, it looks like it's going to be holding against the Rattlers. They're going to get one of the Rattlers that time for holding a three-yard gain on that play, but it's going to be wiped out, and they're going to back the Rattlers up. Holding is the call against the Rattlers, and that's a 10-yard mark-off. Yeah, and we're going in the wrong direction. Yeah. And it's going to make it now first down. And about 20 to go for a round of first down. Yeah, they've got to get all the way to the 45 of the Bulldogs. Yeah, about 25. 25, yeah. About 25 to go. 12.36 to play in the first half. 14-6 Rattlers leading. Damian Fleming again. Empty backfield. Five wides. Fleming steps up in the pocket. Pulls away from one Bulldog. Can't pull away from the second one. And it's going to bring up second down and 25 for the Rattlers. Yeah, the Rattlers not doing a good job of picking up the blitz. They're getting penetration almost every time they bring it. But a screen play would, if the Rattlers could hit one of those, could go a long way because uh, the Bulldogs have turned to bring a lot of pressure now. Eleven fifty-seven to go in the first half. 14-6 Rattlers leading. Casey Glines comes wide to the near boundary. He'll be isolated over here. And the Rattlers are going to send twin receivers to the far side. And load up the offset eye. Lonnie Lockett, the up back. They give it to Al Tariq Mac first, the eye back. And Al Tariq's going to lose another yard or so. It's going to bring up third down and uh, Columbia for yeah. FAMU. And what you don't want right now, boy, Damian Fleming has gone down. And Mike Carson got some playing time in that first football game of the season against Mississippi Valley State, but not much, uh, not very many reps since then. And this is a tough situation to come into with third and 25. Carson with uh, twin receivers near boundary. He's going to hand it off to Lamont Bice. And Bice is going to move the pile out to about the 33-yard line, but it's going to bring up fourth down and long for the Raptors. And Darius Drummond will retreat for South Carolina State. Yeah, and Rattles ha actually had good field position. Weren't able to do anything with it on that one. Now, all eyes are going to be on uh, Damian Fleming right now to see just if it uh, might be a tape and go situation where it can take that ankle up or that foot. And boy, that kick is blocked by the Bulldogs. And boy, still running. He's going to take it to the house. 
for a touchdown. It was blocked by number 20, Mario Cooper, 5'11", 185-pound defensive back from Sumter, South Carolina, and he's going to return it for a score. Going to bring the Bulldogs to within two points. It's a 14-12 game now, 10-20 remaining before halftime. The Bulldogs not going to chase the points yet. They're going to send the uh, extra point team in to make this a one, try to make this a one-point game. All right, Nick Belcher on to attempt the point after. Richard Q will hold. Snap placement. Kick is on the way, and this time it's good. And so, with the Bulldogs score, the Rattler lead is one, 14-13, 10-20 to play in the first half, and we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. And we're back live at uh, Oliver C. Dawson Stadium with the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity. Mike uh, putting on a little step show down yeah, in the Putting zone. on quite a show and uh, entertaining the crowd over there. All right, 10:20 uh, to play. It was Mario Cooper on the punt block. He blocked it. He actually blocked it, found the football, and ran it in for the touchdown. The extra point is good. It's 14-13. The Rattlers lead by one. So both defenses, Mike, have uh, played integral parts in the scoring here this afternoon. All right, here we go. Rattlers take the kick. Boy, a good return by James Owens out to about the 27, 28-yard line for the Rattlers. Well, we will begin first and 10 from there. Question is, though, who's going to come in at quarterback? Yeah, um, I see Damien. He's still over on the uh, sideline. It's going to be Carson Royal that comes in. Yes, Keith and Mike, it, it'll definitely be Carson Royal. Uh, Damien Fleming has been, uh, he has a midfoot sprain on that right foot, a midfoot sprain. Uh, they've been going over, and every time they put any kind of pressure on the, the middle of that right foot, uh, he, he, the pain is pretty obvious. Carson Royal went over to him, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, I got your back. Looks like we're in the uh, pistol wildcat. That's oh, yeah, you, you're right. That's, is that Al Tariq? I think that may be James Owens. It is James Owens, and Owens turns the corner, turns up field, breaks a couple of tackles, and scoots his way out to the 35-yard line. That's an outstanding play in the Wildcat. James Owens took the snap and takes it out to the 34-yard line. On first down, James Owens is going to pick up seven yards, second down and three for the Antlers. Yeah, Carson Royal was on the field, but he was split out as a receiver on that play. 9.49 to go, first half, 14-13. We've got a great ball game going here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. And this time Carson Royal is, is a wide out. And once again, it's James Owens playing quarterback. Carson is flanked wide to the far boundary. Bulldogs threatening blitz. Boy, high snap. Oh, and a boy. ball is fumbled. And let's see who has it. James Owens. The Bulldogs have recovered at the Rattler 35. James Owens took a high snap and tried to hand it off to Al Tariq McBurst, who bobbled it, and South Carolina State recovers it. It's first and 10 South Carolina State from, their, from the Rattler 35, that yeah, is. That's a big mistake. Yeah, I was just thinking what Elton said at midfoot. It sounds a lot like the Liz Frank uh, injury that uh, ended a couple of players' seasons. Let's hope it's not that. Yeah, first and 10 Bulldogs now from the Rattler 35. And Richard Q. Uh, Q has a deep drop, Mike, from uh, the center. Steps up. Boy, got pressure. Boy, boy, that's a hold, and we did get a call. Yeah, we, yeah. Got, we got a call. We hit us a flag down. It was two, two holes right in front of the referee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the penalty marker finally comes flying out. There's laundry on the turf. Yeah, it was Michael Ducree on the blitz who broke through first. And the referees might, yeah. uh, we can't hear, but yeah. it is going to be holding. Holding is the call on the Bulldogs. That'll back them up 10. Yeah, the Rattlers getting a little creative and inventive on offense with uh, James Owens going at quarterback. But the Bulldogs now with a first down and 20. Ball's back at uh, the Rattler 45-yard line. Now. Let's five see if the wide. Rattler, yeah, five wide, empty backfield. Let's see if the Rattlers can. They're going to try to set up the screen pass over here. And, boy, he's breaking tackles and fights his way to about the 31-yard line of FAMU. And 
on that receiving end is Taquan West, 6'4", the sophomore out of Lexington, South Carolina. Yep, that was a little quick screen that Akil Blunt intercepted when he threw it to his side. Yep. Gain of 13, second down and seven for South Carolina State. This time they hand. Oh, that's great defense there. Brandon Denmark, and he had some help over there from number 44. That's Derek Connor. Derek Connor, and boy, that South Carolina State does. Justin Taylor has been really, Mike, the Rattlers have basically neutralized his effectiveness this afternoon. It's going to bring up third down and 11. So he's going to lose about four yards on that play. Great timing on the blitz that time from Denmark. Empty backfield, five wides for Richard Q. Triplets to the far boundary, and boy, there's a lot of movement, and the Rattlers come across. The Rattlers, Brandon Denmark is signaling uh, illegal procedure. We'll wait on the official indication. And it actually looked as though they moved the ball. Big discussion here right here in the middle. And the referee is standing back, letting the other officials sort of talk it over. They're right in the middle of the players here. Both teams pointing in the opposite direction. And still no official indication. They know yeah. it's going to go against the Bulldogs. Yeah, I think it was a snap infraction. It's going to go against South Carolina State. 8.09 to play in the first half. It's 14-13. And South Carolina State uh, going to be facing a third down and 16. They are deep in Rattler territory on a turnover. Now let's see if the Rattler defense can uh, make a big stand here. Again, five wides. Triplets to the boundary. And, boy, the wide receiver comes across the line of scrimmage, and that's another five yards. <laughs> and the receiver... Well, South Carolina State is pointing to the defense. What would they have to do with him moving out there on the perimeter? Yeah, uh, they're going to back up another five. It's going to be third down and 21. Third Let's down see if the Rattler defense can get out of here. Third down and almost Charleston. Yeah, almost Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again, five wides. Triplets to the boundary. Twins to the near side for Richard Q. Yeah, empty backfield for Q. Rattlers uh, drop into coverage. Q fires down the middle of the field. That pass is caught. It's going to get up, be a first down for South Carolina State. Give Q credit. The Rattlers showed blitz. They didn't bring it. But Tameric Hemingway out of Laura, South Carolina, comes up with a big catch, and they move the chains. Wow. On third down and extremely long, they pick up the first down at the Rattler 23-yard line. And this time they give it to Justin Taylor, and he finds a little room this time, but Michael Ducree rides him down at about the 19-yard line. Maybe the 18. We'll see where they spot the football. But the Bulldogs will be inside the red zone. First decent run, really, for Justin Taylor. Yeah, South Carolina State threatening now at the Rattler 19. They haven't had the lead in the ball game yet this afternoon. But uh, they give it to Taylor once again, and this time he's going to lose yards on the play. And it's Brandon Denmark once again. Denmark having an outstanding first half so far. He's been our defensive player of the week for the last two weeks, Mike. And he's, he's uh, pitching, pitching, pitching his case and, for and today. It, and it's all up to him, Keith. He has outstanding talent. It, it's really uh, when he's focused and playing well, this Rattler defense is tough. Five wides for the Bulldogs. Triplets to the near boundary this time. And, boy, they throw the inside screen. And uh, that pass is going to be taken down to the five-yard line by Dennis Rowe. And that's a first down for South Carolina State. Makes it first and goal for the Bulldogs at the Rattler six. And that's a good call from the uh, South Carolina State offensive staff. Saw the Rattler blitz coming. They throw the quick screen. And actually a good job by the Rattlers to keep that out of the end zone. All right, Bulldogs are going to send uh, receivers to either side. And it'll be Justin Taylor in the backfield. They give it to Taylor, and Taylor breaks tackles and fights his way to the goal line. I think they're not going to they're not going to give him a touchdown. But it's going to be second and goal to goal for South Carolina State inside the one. And uh, the Bulldogs bring a, a seventh offensive lineman into the game now. Take out another receiver. They're going with strictly a power lineup. 5:42 remaining in the half. Rattler still with a 1.14 to 13 lead. In jeopardy here, though, as the Bulldogs have a second and goal 
From inside the Rattler one. They send the tight end in motion. And Richard Q keeps. He's in for the touchdown. He's in for the touchdown. And for the first time today, South Carolina State takes the lead. With 525 to go here before halftime. That cue set up by the fumbled handoff between James Owens and Al Tariq McBurst. 19-14, South Carolina State with their first lead of the afternoon. As uh, Nick Belcher checks on to attempt the point after, Richard Q will hold. And there's a whole lot of movement now penalty markers. Yeah, the whole left side of the offense move that time as the Rattlers were coming uh, trying to block that extra point. The legal procedure will be the call against South Carolina State. They'll back them up. Yeah, and the Rattlers have been getting good penetration on these points. They've already blocked one. And so they'll, they'll attempt this point, an extra point, from about the 15-yard line. Here's a snap placement. Kick is blocked. blocked again. Blocked. And so once again, the Rattlers are only down by five. And so with 525 to play in the first half, we'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. All right, here we go. 525 to play in the first half. 1914 South Carolina State with their first lead of the afternoon after Richard Q goes in on a one-yard run and Nick Belcher hands the extra point. And it will be William Roper on to kick off for the Bulldogs. James Owens will be deep to receive for the Rattlers of Florida AM. and m It's going to sail in the end zone, but Owens is going to bring it out 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, for 3, 2, 1. Oh, he's down at the one-yard line. James Owens. James Owens goes 98 yards on the kickoff return. Yeah, they're going to say he stepped out of bounds at about the three, but James Owens took that ball about two yards deep in the end zone, found a crease down the right side. He was caught. Got to give that kid some credit. Davis, the receiver, able to track him down, but the Rattler set up in great field position. Now, uh, quarterback Damian Fleming is hobbling over on the sideline. He won't be in. And let's see if Carson Royal will take the snaps. The Rattlers are set up first and goal at the Bulldog three. Could regain the lead with 5-11 to play in the first half if we can punch it in here. James Owens' new nickname, Mike, is James the Jet Owens. Well, he took off. He was in full flight right there. It's Carson Royal under center. Rattlers go eye formation. It's Al Tariq McBurst. Got to give James a little breather after that big run. And we got penalty markers on the play. And all of a sudden, it's like it's in the layup game. <laughs> and you know, kid, I'm looking out on the field. I think one of the officials must be injured because we are missing one. We're missing the back judge. I, I, didn't, I didn't. Was it delay of game? It was delay of game was the call. Keith and Mike, uh, speaking of injury, Damian Fleming right now is being helped to yeah. the locker room right now. Uh, does not have his right shoe on. Does not have his right cleat on. Uh, his return is definitely in doubt. All right, Rattlers will have, we'll have a first and goal to go now with the ball resting at the Bulldog 8. And it will be Casey Glines wide to the far boundary. Linworth Lennon to the near side. Unbalanced to the near side. Boy, we're going to throw the fade pattern to Glines. Oh, that's interference. And that's pass interference. It looks like Glines. And he caught, caught it. Ball. Touchdown, FAMU. He caught it. Touchdown plus pass interference. Yeah, with a man draped all over him, the six foot six Casey Glines goes up and makes the catch. And with 5.06 to go before halftime, the Rattlers retake the lead by a score of 20 to 19. Carson Royal tosses an eight yard touchdown pass to Casey Glines who was interfered with on the play, but still made the catch. And the Rattlers regained the lead, 20 to 19, with an opportunity to go up by two as Chase Varnador comes on to complete the extra point. It will be Carson Royal who will hold. Here's a snap placement. Kick is airborne. And it's good. And so with 5.06 to play, 
the Rattlers regain the lead. It's 21 to 19 here in Orangeburg, and we got a great ball game going on here. Monador's kick, Chase Monador's kick is returned out to about the 26 to 27 yard line where the Bulldogs will begin first and 10 from there. But Mike, let's go back to that last series. It was James the Jet Owens yep. who went 97 yards to this Bulldog three. We got a penalty that backed us up to the eight. And then Carson Royal tossed the fade pattern to Casey Glines who caught the passes was interfered with. And the Rattlers have regained the lead 21-19 after Chase Varnador's extra point. We got a ball game going on here in Orangeburg. Richard Q wants to pass. He throws this one away. Yep. Pressure from the Rattler defense. Yeah, man, the miscommunication between he and the receiver that time, that pass wasn't even close. Keith, you know, this is an interesting setup up here in Orangeburg and at South Carolina State. It's a closed campus. And we can see out at the end, everybody has to pay to even get onto the campus. And there's a line about a block long of people that are still trying to get into the area so they can come to the game. Yeah, and, and, and the game is already a, a sellout. So here we go. This time it is Dondre Lewis Freeman who carries the football. And he's going to lunge forward for a couple of yards and then make it the third down. Actually, they're going to credit him with no gain. Third down and 10 for South Carolina State. Let's give the – Mike, we got to give the Rattler defense a whole lot of credit. They're playing an outstanding ball game. Yeah, here and the South Bulldogs are, are not trying to run the ball right now. They're five wide, and they're allowing the Rattlers to play with their best defensive lineup, which is their nine package. Yeah. Triplets to the near boundary. Five wide. But Q is in, in – got pressure. Throws it throws downfield. It away. Throws it away. Fourth down, South Carolina State, and the Rattler defense – Makes the Bulldogs go three and out. And that's a great stand by the Rattler defense trying to protect this two-point lead. 4-13 to go before halftime, and the Rattler's about to get the football back. Nick Belcher checks on the punt. It's Devontae Terry Johnson on to receive the punt for the Rattlers. 4-13 to go in the first half. And... 21-19, the Rattlers lead. And they're going to fake the ball. They're going to the rugby, rugby style kick it. And Devontae gets away from it. It's going to take a bulldog roll, and it's going to roll all the way down to about the eight-yard line where the Rattlers will begin first and ten from there. Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to Gene and Sam and uh, Kelton and all the folks down in Rich Bay, that big suburb of Havana. <laughs> and uh, Speaking of Havana, Let's get in. Mr. Mr. Swain. Swain. Yes, sir. Um, Kaler and Taylor down in Tally. Uh, Lorian out in San Diego. And Corbin up in New York City. And Kristen in Tallahassee. And the whole Robert Sr.'s clan, including the little one, listening in in Tallahassee today. And uh, Adria and uh, little EG4. Elton Gumble, that's his crew, and the Jefferson Walker clan. I'm going to get all of the Rattler Network folks in on the shout-outs. Here we go. Carson Royal hands it off to Zach James, James Owens. Owens, and Owens uh, out to the 10-yard line. Gain of one, second down and nine for the Rattlers. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, call 1-800-799-7233. That's 1-800-799-SAFE. You might save a life. And this week on Halftime at FAMU, Glendale Presley talks with FAMU women's basketball coach and Don Gibson about the upcoming Lady Rattler basketball season and their quest for a MEAC championship. They won a basketball game like yesterday at 11.30 a.m. They beat the Jacksonville Lady Dolphins. And here we go, Carson Royal on the keeper. And Carson's going to be trapped behind the line, lose yards on the play. Yeah, Carson probably, he was running his own read. Probably should have given that ball to James Owens. Yeah. In fact, uh, Carson, uh, he might not be the zone read type quarterback. Yeah, and what you don't want Carson to do right here, Keith, is, yeah. is uh, turn the football over. Just right. be safe. Make sure you don't throw it away. Yeah, and, and, and get a little room for Colby to get off a good punt. Yeah with 2.49 to play. 
All right, Dwayne Harvey and Linworth Lennon, twins to the far boundary. Casey Glines is wide over here to the near side. He threw a great pass to Casey on the touchdown. And it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. And here we go, Lamont Bice gets the call, and he's going to have his legs taken out from under him back at the two-yard line. That's a great defensive play by Camario McFadden, 5'11", 200-pound senior defensive back out of Riverdale, Georgia. And but Colby's going to have to punt this from the back of the end zone. Yep. Yeah, it looks like we've got a stoppage here for some reason. Somebody's well, called some, timeout. Somebody's out. called timeout, yeah. Breaking the action. 2.29 to play the Rattlers lead, 21-19. <laughs> Colby Blanton's kick is fumbled at midfield. Rattlers trying to get coverage down there. Boy, he breaks the tackle and falls forward at the 37-yard line. And so South Carolina State will have a first down and 10. At the Rantler 37, with two minutes and 17 seconds to play in the first half. Yeah, That's good it. job of Kobe of hitting that punt out of there, but a good run back. Rattles have got 217 to try to keep the Bulldogs off the board here before halftime. I'm going to say hi to Ashley over at Div Divine Designs by Ashley. I'm going to say hi to the Alexanders on Cherry. Ramon and uh, Lorenzo Alexander. Yep. Five wide again for the Bulldogs. And again, empty backfield. Hughes going to pull it down. He's got a little running room this time. And Terry Johnson comes up with an explosive speed to run Q out of bounds. This should come back. It looked as though when the Rattler Blitzer came through, one of the, one of the offensive linemen tried to grab him to save his quarterback, <laughs> Richard Q. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a holding is going to be the call. That's why. And now, that Mike Thomas is a, is a football coach in the box. You know, he, he was a wide receivers coach back in the day for Coach Rudy Hubbard. I don't want to date him, but he knows a little football. I want to give a shout-out to old Rudy Hubbard listening yeah. in down on 96.1. Hey, coach. coach, how you doing? Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to Coach Hubbard. Two minutes and three seconds remaining in the first half. 21-19, the Rantlers lead. And anyway, we got a great ball game going here. Richard Q out of the back. Boy, that's a great play by Devontae Terry Johnson. Grabs his jersey and just horse collars him down at about the 46-yard line, 44-yard line of the Rantlers. Well, the important thing, Keith, he didn't horse collar him down. That would have been a 15-yard penalty, but he, he was able to try to strip the ball away and bring Q down. Yeah, great play by Devontae Terry. Devontae Terry Johnson, I like the pro scouts for the last two weeks have been on campus. And I think he's helping his cause yeah. by being able to return kicks, too. He's having an outstanding year. Yeah, Brandon Denmark's also getting a lot of looks. All right, here we go. Q tosses this one out here. Boy, he's got some blockers out front. Boy, and it's still a great play by Terry Johnson. He comes up and takes the legs out from under the receiver, number 85 for Taquan West. And it's going to bring up third down and about seven to go for South Carolina State. Again, it's five wide. Yeah, minute to play in the first half. Triplets to the far boundary, twins near side. Empty backfield for Richard Q. And the Rattlers are bringing the blitz. Here comes Terry Johnson, forces him out of the pocket. And Q looks down, feel that pass is incomplete, but uh, there's a penalty hold, marker on the play. It's holding again, and with the field position the Rattlers have right now, they may just go ahead and decline it. It'll be fourth down and seven. Or they may push them back to make sure they don't try to go for it on fourth down. Decision time for Coach Holmes. I want to say hi to Brad Johnson and his family. Uh, Vicki Muse Johnson, my good friend over there in Gadsden County. And all of the folks listening in, in Gadsden County. Yeah, Rattlers are going to decline the penalty. It's going to bring up fourth down. Got to be careful right here. Surprisingly, they're putting their special teams in. I thought they might just keep the, uh, the defense on. But it's going to be a field goal attempt. Well, it's going to be a long field goal attempt. Yeah, and the Rattlers... Uh, going to call time, Keith, because I think they're looking for a fake or something right here. Yeah. Timeout, FAMU. 47 seconds remaining in the first half. It's 21-19 Rattlers. <laughs> Bulldogs attempt a 50 one yard field goal. It only went about 30 yards. Yeah, and, and it's uh, no good. So with 20, 
one, it's 21 to 19 FAMU with 43 seconds remaining in the first half. The Rattlers are going to take over on downs. Yeah, but they're just going to trying to get the halftime right now, Keith, yeah. with this two-point lead. Yeah, and, and it's going to be interesting, that this conversation that's going to come up with Elton and Coach Earl Holmes as they walk to the locker room, especially about uh, Damian Fleming. Yeah, try to get a read on him and actually what the plan is uh, for the second half when we see more Wildcats. Yeah. All right, here we go. Rattlers are going to send Carson Royal back at quarterback. And it's Casey Glines isolated over here to the near boundary and twin receivers to the far boundary. It's Dwayne Harvey and uh, Linworth Lennon offset eye. Well, Play Rattles action. Carson, throw this ball. And Carson's going to go deep and overthrows everybody. Looks like they wanted the double move. Yeah. But uh, the timing of it wasn't there. Surprisingly, the Rattlers throw the ball with only 37 seconds well, left. But, Mike, in the I got to tell you, I like the call because it makes the defense, you know, they can't just sit on the, you know, you, you got to be aware. I, I like it as long as South Carolina State doesn't get the ball back exactly. before halftime. Exactly. And, and actually, it was such a deep pass. Had they picked it off, it would have been like a punt. But it was incomplete. Second yeah. down and 10. Yeah, and the clock stopped. Yeah, 37 seconds remaining. 21 19. Rattlers leading. <laughs> Glendale Presley talking with uh, basketball coach Lenon Gibson about the Lady Rantler season coming up at halftime at FAMU. Here we go. This is Lamon Bice and Bice across the 35 to about the 37-yard line. Yeah, and the Bulldogs don't seem inclined to try to stop the clock here. It looks like they're just going to let it run on down to halftime too. Yeah. So I would really be surprised that may if the Rattler been, snapped yeah. it again. Yeah. That may have been the last play of the first half. May have been. Yep, and as we see the Bulldog staff right next to us packing yeah. up their gear going down. Very interesting. We, the press box here in uh, Bulldog Stadium, and it's all glass enclosures. And so we are sitting, we're in the booth right next to the South Carolina State coaching staff, and they can see us and we can see them. They love it when I say, move those chains. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it. That's going to do it for the first half of play with our score. Florida and m 21, South Carolina State 19. Our visit Tallahassee halftime show will begin. Down here. Oh, no, I'm, you're right. Here going, go. It's going to begin with Elton. Yes. It's going to begin with Elton. Oh, yes, so down, down with here us. with head coach Earl Holmes. You have a, uh, a lead at halftime at another homecoming game. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I thought overall we, we, we're playing very well right now. We just got to cut down on the mistakes. We can't have punts blocked. And we just got to understand we got to manage the clock a little better. Uh, how do you does this team respond if Damian Fleming cannot come back in the second half? Well, we got to do what we do. We want to run the ball first at the same time. Carson, we know that he can get the job done. We just got to take our time and make every play count and uh, just put a body on the body. A lot of big plays happened in this first half. Which one stands out to you? Well, I think they're all big, but uh, most importantly, we got to do a better job on the all side as far as just protecting the ball off. We, we can't give them anything. They're a good football team. We understand it's gonna, we got to play for 60 minutes. So we just got to take it out one play at a time and make the best of it. But, hey, it's the second half, a lot of football left. So we got to cut down on our mistakes. At the same time, we got to create some turnovers on our defense side of the ball. All right, a lot of football left. Good first half for head coach Earl Holmes and the family Rattlers. A 21-19 lead at halftime. I'll send it back up to you. Thank you, Elton.
ensure that the band program continues to prosper. If you have not already, would you please consider giving on behalf of the Marching 101 to help us purchase much needed uniforms. Without your donations, we could not continue to entertain audiences all over the world. We are most grateful for your off as we get set to start the second half to the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs will be moving left to right. Fielded at the 5, 10, 15, 20. And down at the 21-yard line. And so South Carolina State will begin first and 10 from there. Let's reset 
the Bulldog offense. Taquan West is the wide receiver. The left tackle is Dominic Wilson. The left guard, Avery Grant. Tristan Bellamy is the center. Devin Flowers, the right guard. Charles Henderson, the right tackle. Tamaric Hemingway is the tight end. Justin Taylor has gone all day at running back for the Bulldogs. Richard Q at quarterback. Tyler McDonald, the H-back. And Caleb Davis, the other wide receiver. Yep. Tyler McDonald has been quiet today. The all-time leading receiver for South Carolina State. All right, here we go. Richard Q on the read option. Gives to Justin Taylor. Just not a whole lot of running room there. He's going to pick up two or three, but not much more. Yep. He almost let that football go. Had to scramble to get it back. Or it would have been a turnover. They're going to give him credit for about a four-yard gain. All right, here we go. Boy, that ball pops out. Richard Q tries to throw a pass. It falls incomplete. He's going to bring up third down and about six to go for South Carolina State. Yeah, Rattles have had good success batting down passes today. Third down and six to go for the Bulldogs. Q looking to pass, trying to throw that screen. Boy, the Rant boy got the Rattler out of position. And, boy, it's going to go crazy. Oh, boy, it's a touchdown saving tackle over there by John Ojo. That pass was completed to number three, Dennis Rowe. And boy, he, he spun the Rattler around. And had John Ojo not just reached out and grabbed him by the shoelaces, he would have scored. Yeah, and Devin Roberts, keeps on that play, went out injured. Jonathan Pillow is going to come in to replace him. This time they give it to Justin Taylor. And again, he finds a zone and finds a, a lane. And it's going to be Jonathan Pillow who throws him out of bounds at the Rattler 32-yard line. And so the Bulldogs putting together, Mike, an impressive drive on their first possession of the second half. They move crisply down to the 32. And now it looks like the Rattlers have called time. They trail by 2, 21-19. And uh, they're moving left to right. Heading toward the south end zone here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous day here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Yeah, every once in a while there's a passing cloud, but <laughs> right now bright sunshine, uh, comfortable temperatures, beautiful fall afternoon. Yeah. For this renewal of this uh, always tough Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference matchup. Well, we're still waiting to get the whistle. There it is to resume play. 13.55 to go. Third quarter, 21-19 FAMU. Richard Q. this time gives to Justin Taylor. And uh, John Ojo is on the stop along with uh, Akil Blunt. Yeah, Blunt actually having an outstanding yeah. afternoon. Yeah, he's got a pick, several tackles. Second down and seven, gain of three on the play. Triplets, empty backfield once again. Uh, triplets to the far boundary, twins near side, and Q throws oh, right, right over the middle. And boy, great moves by number two, Tyler McDonald. Mike, there he is. Uh, 6'1, 190, the senior out of Somerville, South Carolina, is going to set the Bulldogs up in the red zone at the Rattler. 10-yard line, actually oh, the 11-yard line. Yeah, first down and 10. Still get a first down at the one. Yeah. Justin Taylor is the lone setback for Richard Q. This time isolated receiver to the near boundary and twins to the far side. They give it to Taylor, looking for that lane, turns upfield inside the 10 and driven out of bounds. At about the seven-yard line. Yeah, good looking defensive flow right there. And Mike, the, that, that five-wide formation uh, goes all the way back to Morgan State. When we played Morgan up in Baltimore, they they consistently ran an empty backfield with an outstanding running, running quarterback. Right, they had a running quarterback. Right. And uh, so we're seeing a lot of that here today. 
You can tell somebody's been studying some film. Here we go. Uh, isolated receiver near side. Twins to the far boundary for Richard Q. And they give it to Justin Taylor once again. And Taylor again barrels his way inside the five down to about the four-yard line. It's going to become third down and about three yards to go for South Carolina State. Keith and Mike, um, this FAMU defense is, is operating right now this entire drive without defensive back Devin Roberts. He's over on the sidelines uh, with a uh, sprained right ankle. All right, thank you, Elton. Tyler McDonald wide to the near boundary. He's isolated over here. And um, Q's going to send two receivers, the Twins, to the far side with Justin Taylor in the backfield. 11.49 to go. Taylor gets the call for it. That's Frank Mays. And he's going to sack. Well, not sack, but he's going to. That's a tackle for loss uh, on uh, Justin Taylor all the way back to the 10-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down for South Carolina State in the field goal unit check. Yeah, it's going to force a field goal attempt, and it's of about 25 yards. The Rattles have already blocked two extra points. This will put the Bulldogs up by one if he can make it. Q will hold. Belcher will kick. Kick is on the way. And it's good. And so South Carolina State regains the lead. 22-21. The Bulldogs have regained the lead only for the second time this afternoon here in Orangeburg. Rattlers down by one. And uh, we'll get our first offensive possession of the second half. This is Lamont Bice. He's already had a, and one outstanding kick return on the day, and he's going to return this to about the 30-yard line where the Rattlers will begin our first possession of the second half. And let's see who's going to come out at quarterback. Yeah, you see that the uh, Bulldogs didn't want to kick that ball down to James Owens again. They decided to kick it short. But, you know, Lamont Bice has also... Uh, had a big return today. Carson and, Royal. Yeah, Carson Royal is back at quarterback for the Rattlers. Damian Fleming out with a foot injury. And uh, we may not see Damian again this afternoon. I'm almost sure you won't see Damian again. All right, Carson, under center. Orange Hellman's are down, one setback. And we've got movement. Although I do see Damian standing on the sidelines at about the 35-yard line. He has his helmet on and a ball in his hand, but I would really be surprised if we saw him again today. Yeah, Keith and Mike, uh, he came out uh, just before the while the players were warming up in the second half. Uh, he was bouncing First up and down, 15. dropping back on that right foot, really trying to put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, that is his right foot. That is the foot that he uses to plant on that drop back. And uh, it looks like he just could not go. He does have his helmet. He is on the sidelines ready if Carson Royal struggles. All right, here we go. Rattler send tight end in motion. They hand it off to James Owens. And Owens scoots out uh, past the 30-yard line. He's going to, the five yards loss, he gets them back plus one. And it's going to make it second down now and nine to go for a Rattler first down. Yeah, Rattler's ran a little counter play. Back to the backside. Good blocking on that side by the left tackle, Zeri Patterson. 6'2", 340-pound sophomore from Fort Pierce Central. Fort. Yeah, and, Mike, uh, the guys up front on the offensive line don't get a, a, a whole lot of shout-outs or credit for what they do. And it's a young line in terms of learning to play together. Uh, but they're getting better uh, each week. No doubt about it. Two seniors on that line. Yeah, here we go. They give it to Owens again, and he's got a hold. 40, 45, and Owens out of bounds at midfield. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. And again, they run behind Zeri Patterson and the freshman Keontae Cash. They get a big hole on that side and move the ball out close to midfield. 10-17 to go. Rattlers with a first down and 10 now at midfield. Rattlers moving right to left, headed toward the north end zone. Orange helmets. White jerseys, orange numbers, white pants. It's the fam you look. All right, somebody was talking about the Rattlers, thinking about changing the color of the helmets. New formation. Yeah, here we go. Got the diamond yep. formation. Yeah, it's a, sort of a power. Boy, Carson didn't hand it off, and he's going to pay for it. 
Actually, Keith, I've seen a lot of teams get in that formation and run something like a zone read. That time, the timing of the fake seemed to be a little bit off because I think Carson really wanted to keep that ball. Yeah. It's going to bring up second down and 12 as they lose two. Lose two. You know, with all of these uh, fashion statements uh, on, on the field, you never see Alabama change from what they do. Penn State. Penn State. And what they do is what they do. And uh, although you are dealing with teenage kids yeah. that are very impressed by somebody like an Oregon who changes uniforms every yeah, week. But, well, I was very impressed by a Stanford who put it on them the other night. Here we go. Carson Royal trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Coming up third down, about 11 to go for a round of first down. And it was good initial protection for Carson. That was good coverage downfield. Yeah. But it broke down. It's really not a sack as he does gain positive yards. Yeah. Third down and 11 for the Rattlers now. 8.46 to play. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, different, uh, differing opinions yeah. on the uniform because you remember the Maryland a uniform and helmet of a couple of years ago wasn't really taken. But I'll tell you what, kids like the kind of thing that Oregon does, the shiny helmets and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I, I guess I'm from the old school. I'm from the Johnny Williams School of Football. You know, if you play well, the rest of it will take care of itself. And I, I think that's what you're going to see tonight when Alabama and LSU hook up. Third down, 11. Carson Royal sets up the screen. We got, oh, oh. Al Tariq couldn't. Well, that's a great defensive play. Let's give him some credit. That's Camario McFadden, the defensive back. We completed the screen pass out in the flat to uh, Al Tariq McBurst. Who would have scored. Who would have scored. Not for the touchdown saving tackle by Camario McFadden. Absolutely a touchdown saver. And it's going to bring up fourth down and six now for the Rattlers. And Colby Blanton is on the punt. And uh, Rattlers on the plus side of the 50. Uh, let's see. Colby's going to get it off. A high kick, beautiful kick. Oh, it's going to go into the end zone. And so the Bulldogs will begin first and 10 from their own 20 when play resumes. Yep, the Bulldogs defense, Keith, actually has two players on the Buck Buchanan list as the best defensive player in the FCS. Andrew Carter, who leads the team in sacks, along with their middle linebacker, Joe Thomas, who has 15 tackles for loss and 10 sacks of his own. First and 10, South Carolina State from their own 20, moving left to right. Bulldogs decked out in their white helmets. Garnett jerseys, white numbers, white pants. And Richard Q, play actually going to throw the screen back there, overthrow. And once again, Mike, it's a kill Blunt who's right there in the mix. And he had to throw that pass up high because Akil has already picked one off and batted one down. Yeah, Akil got right in the line of fire. You're right, forced him to have to sail that ball over everybody's head. That's been their best play, the little jailbreak screen to take advantage of the Rattlers' pressure that's been coming on almost every play. All right, here we go. Q on the zone read again. Boy, the Rattlers just a half a step slow to trap him in the backfield and toss him for a loss. So that was... Uh, uh, big Michael Lovejoy who couldn't get there. And uh, so Justin Taylor is going to take it out to about the 27-yard line and make it third down and three for the Bulldogs with 7.06 to go. Five wides, empty backfield for Richard Q. And again, pressure right over the middle of the screen again. And it's caught. And that's going to be a first down out to the 45-yard line for South Carolina State. And on the receiving end of that pass is number eight, Marquis, no, Austin Smith, a 6'2", 205-pound junior out of Rex, Georgia. First down, South Carolina State. Now, unlike Morgan State, though, uh, the Bulldogs can throw from that five-wide formation and have done so effectively. Here we go, Richard Q. Give to Justin Taylor, and boy, the Rattlers' are defense getting worn down a little bit now. Got to got to tackle a little better. Going to take it out to the midfield strike. That's going to be a gain of five. Second down and five for South Carolina State. Well, one of the big changes right now, they're going to the false snap count, trying to get a look at what the Rattler defense or where that pressure is coming from, and then calling their play accordingly. Yeah. 
Twins to the far boundary. Isolated receiver Caleb Davis is wide to the near side. And uh, it's Justin Taylor in the backfield for the Bulldogs. And Taylor's going to get the call again. This time they're at to string the play out and force him out of bounds. That's a good-looking defensive play. That entire left side of the defense did a good job of just making a wall and forcing him further and further to the sideline. And, Mike, do you know who ran him out of bounds? Akil Blunt. Akil Blunt. 20,000 plus in attendance today for uh, South Carolina State's homecoming. And looking around the stadium, it's still pretty much a packed house. Yeah. Akil Blunt, uh, of course, the son of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mel Blunt, and he's having a sensational sophomore season. Yeah, Bulldogs get a man onto the field late. They're going to have to call timeout. South Carolina State. Ball resting at their own 48-yard, or at the Rattler 48-yard line. Q, low snap, fires over the middle. All right, boy, this is great play by Mike Dupree. The pass was complete to number two, Tyler McDonald for a one-yard gain, and Mike Dupree this time was right there and wrapped up McDonald and tossed him down to the ground. He's going to bring up fourth down. And the Bulldog offense looks like it's going to stay on the field. Yeah, fourth down and one for South Carolina State. This could be a huge play. Ball spotted at the Rattler 45. This would be great field position if they could get a stop right here. The Rattlers have to be disciplined now and don't jump offside. Oh, boy, he, I mean, he, he didn't, didn't get, get it. it. He didn't get it. He did not get it. And it's uh, he tried that. to sneak up and, and run a quarterback sneak, but he bumped into one of his own linemen. Yeah, and the Rattlers have held. The Rattlers will take hold. over on downs. It was William Smalls, Mike, who came up with the tackle. Yeah, they, they lined up with a five wide. He got in the shotgun, hoping the Rattler defense would spread out with him. He tried to sneak under center and go quickly for the quarterback sneak, but it doesn't go. And the Rattlers have great field position just outside their own 45-yard line with 4.51 to go, trailing by one. 22-21, South Carolina State. It's just a gorgeous afternoon up here. It's a fall day. You can see the colors of the different... The, the fauna? Yeah. The fall foliage. And uh, Rattlers go into the diamond formation again. Carson Royal this time keeps Carson. Carson going to make himself a runner one yeah. way or the other. Yeah, I'm not sure that's what they want Carson doing right yeah. now. I think they'd rather have uh, you got the, running backs. their running backs. Yeah, give, the give them the ball. Yeah. We lose one. Second down and 11 to go. But a smart job by the Bulldog defense when you run the read option that you force your worst runner to keep it, and that's Carson Royal. Carson does other things well. He is not a running back. He is a quarterback. All right, Casey Lines goes wide to the far boundary. Uh, got a slot receiver there, tight end near side. Strong side of the formation. Carson got to throw this pass. He got a man open. And a good, oh man, first down. Oh, did he get it? He got it. He got it. It's going to be close. It's going to depend on the spot, whether it's a left foot mark or a right foot. The way they are now, they're going to move those chains. Mike Morris. They went with the bootleg, and it was Mike Morris, the number two tight end, who makes that catch. Did a good job of getting north and south quickly, picking up the yardage. Yeah, and he knew where he needed to go, Mike, and he got there and lunged forward, not sideways, and we pick up the first down. Yeah, and we haven't said a lot, Keith, about the middle two sections on the other side where all the orange and green is. A nice-looking yeah. crowd of rattlers. Yeah, Gilda talked about it, and she said that's where she's sitting today, and they have been mighty vocal over there trying to you know, keep the team – uh, into the ball game in their spirit time. All right, here we go. Carson goes into the offset, gives this time to a running back who gets back to the line of scrimmage and then smacked down there at the point of attack. And let's see. It was Lamont Vice, the ball carrier. And actually they're going to say he lost a yard. Second and 11. 314 to play in the third. And Rattlers down by one. 22-21. About seven seconds to get this play going. Yeah, got to hurry. Ah, oh, they don't do it. Don't get it off again. Yeah. 
We were missing an official the first half as the back judge was injured. They got the uh, backup rough out now, so they're, they're back to full strength. Yeah. As far as the officiating crew is concerned, Rattlers were struggling trying to get that play call from the very beginning. Yeah. They stayed in the huddle too long, and we get delay of game. Five-yard penalty makes it second down now and 16 to go for around the first down. Very different scenario in your offensive play call. I mean, you go from a second and 11 to second 16. And you don't need to get it all in one play. You can get it in, just get some chunks going here. Lamont Bice stumbles forward after he's given the handoff. He's going to gain a yard, maybe two. It's going to bring up third down and about 15 yards to go. That's what they're going to call it. Third and 15 for the Ramblers. 22-21, South Carolina State. I don't know if I wouldn't go back to that screen pass yeah. uh, that Alex Rick McBurst yeah. had out there because he had clear sailing had he just been able to get away from that ankle tackle. Or the bootleg rollout and hit the tight end again. That worked well, too. I don't know if we can get 15 yards out of that. But here we go. This pass is caught by the tight end, Mike Morris. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, actually, that's at Mason Felix. Oh, it's at Mason. Okay. Uh, going to bring up fourth down and about 11 to go. Yeah, and the Rattlers are going to bring Kobe Blanton in to try to pin the Bulldogs deep. Try to keep this one out of the end zone. Because he's hitting them nice and high again. Yeah. Bulldogs look like they're going to bring pressure this time. And there they is do. Drummond. And it's blocked. And who has the ball? The Bulldogs will have it at the Rattler 19 as Colby's kick is blocked. You can see the Bulldogs loading up the line of scrimmage. They were going to come. And they got tremendous penetration. And they are set up again at the Rattler 20 yard line. 105 to go here in the third. Bulldogs with a 1.22 to 21 lead. But they have the football right at the red zone at uh, the Rattler 20. With a minute five to play in the third. Richard Q, senior quarterback out of uh, Florence, South Carolina. 6'1", 180, redshirt senior. Going all the way at quarterback today. Wing left. Uh, now wing right as he shifts his wing back. Gives to. Now this oh, is good uh, solid attack. Lewis Freeman. Dondre Lewis Freeman. Yeah. John Ojo there. And uh, William Smalls. William Smalls. Yeah. And Denmark all get there. Yeah. Hold that play to a one point game. One yard game. Yeah. One yard game. One point lead. One point lead. 42 seconds. In the third, counting down. Ball's resting though at the round of 19. And the Rattlers digging in on defense. Q going to give it to Lewis Freeman again. And once again, he runs smack dab into Michael Lovejoy. Yeah, he, and Frank Mays was the guy who wasn't fooled, Keith. He was right there, forced the running back to come back inside. And the Rattlers hold that to a one-yard game. It's going to be third down and eight. Third down, eight to go for South Carolina State. 13 seconds. That, that may have been the last play of the third quarter. Yeah, I think it is. Triplets near boundary. Twins to the far side for Richard Q. Rattlers bringing the blitz. Q tries to get outside. He completes the pass downfield, but he now he got knocked out of bounds. I'm not sure he got the first down. He did not. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth down. Let's see if the Bulldogs try to add to their one-point lead. Caleb Davis again, the redshirt senior. He's going to be a yard short. That was good defense back there, Mike. It looks like Coach Pugh is on the field. He wants a measurement, but he's not going to get it. And the Bulldogs are going to send their gotcha. field goal team in. And the play clock, Keith, is down to 15. So let's see if that ends up being a factor in a hurry kick here. Yeah. Play clock under 10, and they still have them lined up. All right. Um, Belcher is they're not well, going to get it off. And they do get it off, and it is good. They get it off, and it's good. I thought that clock was going to run out of time. Yeah. But the field goal is good, which makes it 25-21 for South Carolina State now with 14-24 to play. 
25 to 21 now after Nick Belcher's 29 yard field goal. The Bulldogs increase their lead to four points. Boy, and now a high short kick. And it's going to be caught by a Rattler up man. Looks like number 37. That is Alonzo Palmer Hicks, a freshman tight end out of Sarasota, Florida. And so the Rattlers are going to take over a first down and 10 now at our own 36-yard line. Pretty good field position. We can get something going offensively. Damian Fleming ends the day 4 of 7 for 54 yards with another 17 rushing. Carson Royal right now, 4 of 5 for 29 yards. Leading rusher of the day, James Owens with 50 yards and 11 carries. All right, here we go. Carson Royal under center. Orange helmets are down. And here we go. Carson looking to pass. He throws downfield for Linworth Lennon. Oh, that's interference. And, and we get the flag. Oh, we do get a flag. The field judge didn't call it. But the, the back judge, is that the back judge? He, he called it. And it looks like he's trying to come over and talk him out of it. Pass oh, interference. It's going to be rule pass interference. It's going to be passing. The ball was slightly underthrown for Linworth Lennon. As Lennon tried to fight his way back to the football, the defensive back just sort of rolled him off. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty. And a first down. And a first down. Ball, Rattlers will have the ball in Bulldog territory at the 49-yard line. 14-18 to play. Carson Royal. Got to use his weapons, Mike. He's got to use his weapons. Yeah, we're getting a lot of press one-on-one -on -one coverage. Uh, they're trying to make Carson be a passer here. Yeah. As they're going to bring the blitz. Carson going to throw. And, boy, overthrows Casey Klein. Who didn't look like he knew the ball was going to come to him. You know, he got, he's getting the press coverage. That's going to be there. That fade to him, and he's being 6'6". Six, six. That play is there. They've got to look for the football in there. He's being guarded by number 15, Mason Harris, who's only 5'10". Yeah. So we can get it anywhere in the vicinity. It should be a big catch for Casey. Yeah, and I think the Bulldog band may be close to getting them apparently as they're playing through play. And now the Rattlers call timeout. Okay, breaking the action. 14-14 to play in the ball game. 25-21 South Carolina State. The Rattlers on second down throw the middle screen to Linworth Lennon. He's going to pick up four. Make it third down, about six to go for a Rattler first down. Yep, Rattlers uh, went with their version of the jailbreak screen. Yeah. Good job by Linworth. Yeah, because he had all kind of red shirts around him, and he fell for it. Twins to the far boundary. Now a uh, man coming in motion. That's the main homes. And here we go. Carson fires across the middle. In and out of the hands of uh, Trevon Holmes. What? Flag down could be rough in the passer. As there is a penalty marker back where that ball was thrown from. That's what that for the official indication here. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Automatic first down. For Automatic first down to the 30-yard line. So right now the Rattlers on a penalty aided drive, but they need a touchdown to retake the lead here in Orangeburg. Mike, uh, while we have a moment, and it's on, I've been meaning to do this for the last couple of games, but I, I wanted to give a shout-out to Roosevelt Wilson, who so many years ago uh, was the athletic director, and he said, I want to give these young guys a chance to broadcast the football games. And it was Roosevelt who launched us in what we now call the Rattler Sports Network. Absolutely. Thank you, Roosevelt. Yep. First down and 10 for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at uh, the Bulldog 30. And Carson Royal's got a, he's got a drive going. Carson this time throws back to Linworth. Another jailbreak screen. And Linworth's got some running room, and he fights his way down to the 21-yard line. That's very close to a Rattler first down. That's a gain of nine, and it's going to bring up going to be second and about one. And one. Second down and one for the Rantlers. And the Bulldog 21 just outside the red zone. And, and Quinn's being out, Keith. 
must have affected us a lot more than we realized because this offense is the one that we've been looking for all year. Yeah, and, and, uh, without question, Mike, had we had this offense, our record would be completely different. No question. All right, here we go. High snap this time, and we give. James Owens going to lose a yard. He's going to lose a yard. That was not a good snap from center. So make it third down and about two for Rattler first down. And for the Rattlers right here, Keith, this could be four down territory. Yeah, add Mason Felix and uh, Travon Holmes check into the Rattler lineup. On third down and two. Ball is resting at the Bulldog 22-yard line. Scoreboard says it's at the 27, but it's really at the 22. The 12 13 to play. And Casey, it's, it's been, Mike, it's, it's been a heavyweight fight all day. Yeah, Casey Glines keeps, again, one-on-one -on -one coverage over here on the right side. And Carson swings this pass out, overthrows James Owens. It was great coverage by the Bulldogs and a smart play by Carson Waller just sailed that ball over his head. Let's see if the Rattlers try to cut this lead to one. There's still 12 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It looks like that's what they're going to do. They're going to give Chase a chance yeah. to cut it. To one. And nope, they're going to send Chase back off, and they changed their mind, and the offense is, like is going to come back. Fourth down at two. We got 14 seconds. We should be okay. Well, the play clock is down to 10. That's going to be the problem here. Yeah, we're, we're still shuffling. We're going to have to take a time. No, actually, there's a flag already down. We're, they're going to get us. Well, illegal substitution. Exactly. Yeah. Which is going to make it fourth down and seven now. But it was, and that's also a longer field goal now by five yards. Yeah. Yeah, we're waiting. The official indication is a legal substitution. Now, let's see. And I think that's what the Rattles were saying, Keith. I think they wanted the timeout. Yeah, the Rattlers call timeout. 11.55 to go, and, and maybe we should stay right here, Mike. Because yeah, uh, Coach Buddy Pugh now exercised on his sideline. And, and they're looking at the scoreboard clock because time has run down. The Rattlers wanted to go for it. And yeah, you hear the, the partisan <laughs> fans here in Orangeburg. And the supervisor of officials for the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference is here. Is so he's here. watching all of this. Exactly. We, we had a conversation be with him. on this. As a matter of fact, his son is the line judge. Right. Fourth down for the Rattlers. All right, fourth down and seven for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at the 27-yard line. And the, the, the coaching staff and the Bulldogs sideline trying to get their fans to, into the game here. It's going to be fourth down and seven. Carson's been doing a good job, though, Keith. Looks poised out there in the pocket. Yeah, referee is having to explain himself now. Explain, not explain. He's trying to explain himself to Coach Buddy Pugh. Yeah, but the Rattles were penalized the five yards. I'm not sure what Coach Pugh could be asking for. We yeah. got, we were penalized five yards. Right. Fourth down and seven for the Rattlers. And uh, the play resumes. Here we go. Here we go. Triplets. The far boundary. We isolate Casey Glines. Lamont Bice is in the backfield for Carson Royal. Carson wants to pass. Got to get more. He's going to be hit. Fumble. And let's see. Either way, the Bulldogs are going to have the football. Bulldogs are going to have the ball. At about a 39-yard line, Carson didn't see the blitz coming from the backside. It looked as though it was number 42, Reggie Owens, out of Statesboro, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Just, just not enough time to execute the play, Mike. Great job defensively by South Carolina State. Yeah, Bulldogs brought the pressure. They got home, and they stopped the Rattler drive. Still 11.48 to go, though. It's still a long time to go in this ballgame. Their defense has just got to continue to fight here and get the football back to its offense. All right, Richard Q and the Bulldog offense are going to take over now at their own 38-yard line. 
And he has uh, Dondre Lewis Freeman in the backfield. And this is Lewis Freeman. And boy, he's got a hold. And a blocker in front of him. He's going down the sideline, bumped out of bounds. Second, like he's going to see at the 33 yard line. It's going to be a first down at the 33. I think they, they're all the way down at the 20, but he uh, stepped that, out at the 33. The 30, looks like the 32, maybe. 32 yard line, yeah. First and 10 Bulldogs, so in Rattler territory. 11 38. Twin receivers this time to the far boundary for Q. And it's uh, Dondre Lewis Freeman again. And this time, boy, the Rattlers trap him, but. Yeah, going to hold him for no gain. Should have had him for about a three yard loss. Yeah, Kill Blunt couldn't hold on. But he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage and not, not much more. Yeah, Second and, down and 10. And as long as the Rattlers can hold him to another field goal, we're still in good shape. It'll still be a one possession game. Right. Receivers to either side for Richard Q. Wing right this time now. Strong side of the formation. And Dondre Lewis Freeman is going to get the call, trying to bounce outside. Oh, that's got to be holding. Yeah, and we got the flag. Jeez, we got the flag. that's got to be holding. We got the flag. And we do get the flag. See if the Rattlers back him up. That was a second down play. They're going to lose about seven anyway. Yeah. Rattlers made a climbness and forced it to be third down. And they do. That's a good observation, Mike. Uh, third down and about seven now. I mean, 17, that is. 17. Yeah. The jailbreak screen has been their big play on these downs. Ten thirty to go in the ball game. Twenty-five, twenty-one. Bulldogs holding a four-point lead with the football at the Rattler thirty-eight. Richard Q looks to pass, fires way down. Boy, it, it's, it's nobody back there but Brandon Denmark, and he makes the catch. That's that's, 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 a, pill, it that's goes like pillow. A punt. It's pillow with oh, the interception. Pillow. Okay. Stops the bulldog drive, yeah, and the Rattlers are going to take over at the three-yard line. And, well, it sort of serves as a punt for South Carolina State. It, the Rattlers are going to take over at the three-yard line. But most importantly, the defense shut down another Bulldog threat. Kept the points off the board. Right. Absolutely. Rattlers still down by four, but still a one-possession game with 10-14 to go. Yeah. 10-14 to play. And we're in this thing. 25 to 20. This is the – we got to say this, Mike. This is the number two team in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, and we're taking them down to the wire. And probably the best defensive team in the conference. Here we go. Offset eye for Carson Royal. Carson, quick drop, throws the pass downfield, and we don't get a call. Casey Glines was the intended receiver. Keeping on that pass to Casey Glines, you got to hang it up and let him jump for it, don't you? Don't try to lead him. He's not going to outrun the guy. You got to get it up high so and turn it into a jump ball. Yeah. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers. Ball is on our three. And most importantly, Mike, we got to get we got to get some we got to get some uh, working room down here. Yeah. But I like the call. Yeah. I like the call. Make the defense make the defense defend the entire field. Yeah. Triplets to the far boundary this time uh, for Carson. And uh, Casey Glines is isolated near side. And boy, it's a good lane up the middle for James Owens. And Owens is going to have a first down. Let's see what they spot. Oh, boy, we're not getting a good spot here. It looked as though James got over the 15-yard line. They're going to say he's down at the 13. It's going to be third down and one still. Third and one, 9.59 to play. Clock's ticking. And a big third down play. Yeah, possession play for the Rattlers. Need to convert here. And Carson from the gun with Owens. And we run the same play, but not with the same result. Boy, let's see where the spot is. It's going to be close. And they may have to bring their chains across. Yeah. Looks to be just a little bit short, but we'll see. 
Yeah, they're going to bring the change across to measure. Uh, next week, I uh, want to remind Rattler fans that Rattlers will return home for the final home game of the 2013 season in Bragg Memorial Stadium against uh, the Delaware State Hornets in another MIAC matchup. He stretched the chains. It's like he's going to be. It's going to be just a little short. It's a little bit short. Gonna be a little bit short. And let's see. Need to pick up this first down. Yeah. 928 remaining in the ball game. Uh, Rattlers on third down and inches. And uh, Carson Royal under center. Orange helmets are down. It's James Owens in the backfield. Carson maybe trying to draw him offside here. The hard count. He was. And now he's got to run his play. Oh God, the whistles. Whistles. But blue. there were four seconds remaining on the play clock, so I don't know what this could be. They're wondering about downs right now. Yes. They believe it's fourth down. And I believe it's fourth down. Yeah, I think you're right. It is fourth down. Fourth down, everyone. And, uh, and it looks like the Rattles, the Rattles actually knew it was fourth down. That's why they were trying to draw them offside. Right. And now. The Rattles are going to go for it. They're, they're keeping their offense on the field. Carson Royal and company. Yeah, Carson. Are going to stay on the field. Yeah, the offense is on the field. Fourth down and one. This is a big gamble here. Ball is resting at our own 12-yard line. We, we got to convert. Yeah, got to convert this one. Got to convert. Uh, Casey glides wide to the far boundary. Uh, Dwayne Harvey near side. Uh, Lonnie Lockett the up back. And it's uh, Lamont Vice. The eye back. Carson Royal under center. Orange helmets are down. And Carson trying to draw him off again. Yeah, I think they're just going to let the play clock run on down if they don't jump. Yeah, you basically couldn't give them the football here. Right. Good try. Good fake by, by Coach. Still almost nine minutes to go in the ball game, yeah. but a good try to get yeah. the first down. Yeah. Uh, that's good strategy. It's good strategy. You want to try and draw them off and get the, get the easy first now. It, we're, we're, it, it's really a dangerous area of the field to not convert and give South Carolina. It, it, yeah, you couldn't give it to them there. That's, that's an automatic three. Right. <laughs> and maybe a touchdown. So good strategy. Yeah. Colby Blanton will punt. It's uh, Darius Drummond deep to receive for South Carolina State. Need good protection here. Yeah, need to let Kobe get it off. Boy, and he well, gets his worst one of the day, but it is going to take a, a decent roll. roll. And it's going to roll out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. So the Bulldogs will begin first and 10 from the FAMU 47 with 827 to play in the ball game. Yeah, defense has just got to stay tough. Jimmy Mack wanted to give a shout-out to uh, where's Jimmy this week? Last week he was on a train ride from New York to Miami. And this week, he's back in New York. He's a globetrotter. A Harlem globetrotter. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, they hand it off to Justin Taylor. And boy, he has been, uh, he's going he's gonna to need a little Epsom sauce. Yeah. Bath tonight. yeah, the family defense has done a good job of containing him. What was it that time? Well, it's just a rattler down. And that's the rattler that made the tackle. Well, Mike, Mike Ducree was the injured rattler, not William Small. Small's actually coming in to replace Ducree. Ducree made the tackle. And Ducree can't put any pressure on his left leg. It's, yeah. He's keeping it off the ground completely. Eight oh seven to go. Yeah, it's going to be second and eight when play resumes. Eight oh seven to go. Rattlers trailing twenty five twenty one. Yeah, Richard Q. 
with Dondre Lewis Freeman in the backfield. Rattlers bringing the blitz or threatening the blitz. Now backing off. Bulldogs now content to run clock with that four-point lead. And we're going to give it to Freeman. He's hitting the back. Boy, that's a great that's job a great by the family defense. And it's a great call. The, the defense was slanting in that direction. And it was love, joy, and small. And a penalty marker down. And 44. Who is 44? Derek Connor. Derek Connor. Great tackle. Yeah, that is a penalty marker down. He's at the 45. And holding is the call. And the rattle's going to decline. They're going to decline because it was a loss on the play anyway. It's going to bring up third down about 12. 12. Yeah, third and 12. Third down and 12 yards to go for the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Ball resting at uh, the Rattler 49-yard line now. 7.43. Yeah, they go with the five wide receivers again. Empty backfield. This has been an old-fashioned battle here this afternoon. Richard Q, triplets to the near boundary. Thry throws that screen, the middle screen. Yeah, but he's not going to get the first down. He's going to yeah. get a gain of about five, but that's going to be way short. Yeah, Tyler McDonald, receiver who made the catch, but it's going to bring a fourth down for the Bulldogs. Nick Belcher will check on the punt. Rattlers are going to send uh, Terry Johnson. And boy, we could sure use a big play from TJ right now. Back to the serve during the punt, number four. 6.45, the go clock is ticking. Boy, he gets off an end over end kick. Terry calls for the fair catch and makes it at the 12 yard line. Does a good job of coming up making that catch, saving a few yards in field position. Well, the Rattlers got the ball back, 6.33 to go. And they've got about 86 yards to go. I thought I heard him say timeout, but no timeout. 25-21, South Carolina State. Rattlers go triplets to the near boundary. Isolate Casey Glines to the far side. It's James Owens in the backfield. And on first down, we're going to run James Owens. Actually, it's going to be a that, fake. It's and it's going to be Carson, Carson Royal. Carson straight ahead. And a good-looking fake that time because everybody, including myself, thought that James had the football. And Carson's going to get about six. Yeah. Good run by Carson Royal. Coastal Carolina was the opener for the Bulldogs. They lost 27-20. They lost to Clemson 52-13. Then they ran off five in a row over Alabama A&M, Benedict, Hampton University, North Carolina A&T, and North Carolina Central before losing to Bethune-Cookman by a score of 14-3. Second down and five. Carson gets five. Ball's resting at our own 17, and Carson's looking to pass. Got the screen out there. Got to be a little more patient. Got to let his back get out there and get set up. He threw it a little bit quick, and uh, James wasn't able to turn and get his hands on it. But that screen definitely has been there. And it was there. But uh, Carson, as Mike said, threw it a little too quick for James to turn around and get it. So bring up third down and five for the Raptors. And, uh, yep, now it's getting late. 546 remaining in the ball game. So first downs are crucial. All right, Linworth Lennon comes in motion and put triplets in the near side boundary. Carson looks at the pass where he's going to run out of time and get sacked. Yeah, that's a coverage sack. He wanted uh, and Mason Felix on the short cross. Was not there. Carson didn't want to turn the football over, so he pulls it down. And the Rattlers going to have to punt it away. Fourth down for the Rattlers. Kobe's going to be standing right at the goal line to punt this ball. Darius Drummond will stand about the midfield strike to receive the ball. 
5-11, Rattlers down by four. Clock has rapidly become our enemy now. Oh, tremendous punt. Great kick. Drives him all the way back to the 35-yard line of South Carolina State. And run out of bounds at about the 45-yard line of the Rattlers where the Bulldogs will begin first and ten. Yep, 4.55 to go. And the Rattler defense has got to do it one more time. Yep. Mike and Keith, that Rattler defense is going to have to do it without Michael Dupree. He is still on the trainer's table right now. His left shoe is off. They have ice all around that left ankle. I've also been keeping an eye on Damian Fleming. He continues to be uh, stretching stretching out that foot. He's uh, been seen by the training staff uh, repeatedly taking off that shoe, putting it back on. He's trying to, uh, I think, trying to deal with that pain to see if he can get back in the game. All right, Richard Q hands it off to Justin Taylor. Justin Taylor. And Taylor straight ahead. And Mike, this is what South Carolina, South Carolina State now, at this point in the ballgame, is going to be content to run clock. Give the Rattler front credit, though, Keith. They have done a good job against this South Carolina running attack. A yeah, gain of three, second and seven for the Bulldogs, 4-26. Yeah, they're letting the play clock run all the way down, too. Uh, they give it to Taylor again. This time. It's like Frank Mays jumps on the pile. But again, a good job of just stringing the play out, forming that wall on that side, not giving them anywhere to go. Best uh, gap control defense that we played all year. Yeah. Makes it third down and seven for South Carolina State. All right, third down and seven for the Bulldogs. Richard Q, spread formation. Oh, it's holding again. And we got the flag. Pass is caught down here at the 20-yard line. And yep. finally taken down at the 19, but that's all going to come back. Yeah, and I mean the Bulldogs, Keith, aren't trying to hide it. They're just reaching out, grabbing people. Got a few scores. It's Howard 42, Savannah 14. That game is a final. Another final, Hampton 21, North Carolina Central. Uh, actually, it's Hampton 29, North Carolina Central 21. Morgan defeats a and 24 to 23. And in the first quarter, with five minutes to go, it's Norfolk State 10, BCU 0. Wow. Well, holding is the call against South Carolina State, and that after the assessment, the ball is going to be moved back to the Bulldog 48-yard line, and it'll make it third down and 17 now for South Carolina State. Let's see if this Rattler defense can get off the field. Richard Q looks to pass, fires downfield. It's oh. tipped. Oh. That's why two Rattlers had a chance to pull the pick. Ojo tipped it first. And then it looked like the freshman, Jules Durnerville, yeah. tipped it. And it falls incomplete. Fourth down, South Carolina State. And with 3 4 to go, Keith, this may be the last shot. Nick Belcher will punt for the Bulldogs. Or we need Terry Johnson to take one to the house. Belcher, a low snap, well, it's a side-winding kick. And all of the Rattlers are going to just get away from it. Boy, a really low kick. It's going to roll dead about the nine-yard line, and the Rattlers will begin first and ten from there. Two minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the ball game. And the Rattlers have to go 91 yards to win it. They need a touchdown, trailing by four. It's been Carson Royal all the way in the second half. I think he's equated himself pretty well. I mean, yeah. he wasn't getting all the, the snaps in practice, but he's come out and done a good job. Yeah, considering uh, his playing time through the season and his reps, he's uh, done some things well and obviously some things he needs to improve on. But he's got a chance to win it here with 252 to go. Yeah. Here we go. Twins to the near side, twins to the far side. It's a spread formation. 
Carson wants to pass. Throws. Oh, he's got Mike Morris. And That's Morris that. gets out of bounds at the 20-yard line. At Mason Felix. It's at Mason Felix, okay. And uh, that's a first down. It moves the chains and stops the clock. Yeah, and that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk on a first down play. Yeah. Add Mason Felix, formerly known as Adamson Felix, the 5'11", 195-pound Richard Jr. out of Palm Beach, Lake Worth. Yeah, if they hadn't invited him to the press conference, we might have been still calling him Adamson. Adamson. Yeah. But he understood First and 10 Rattlers from our own 20. Carson. Try. Oh. Little draw play. Yep. And it's a James Owens. Penalty markers are on the play, though. I think this one's going to come. Yeah, back. I think they're going to get one of the Rattlers for holding. Nice little play, though. We haven't seen that little reach around draw before. Yeah. It was very effective. It would have been a first down if there wasn't an infraction on the play. That's going to hurt. That's going to back the Rattlers up 10 yards. Holding. 2.18 now remaining in the ball game, and that would have been a nice, another big chunk, Keith, and, and really got this drive kick-started. to go, Rattlers down 25-21 to South Carolina State. Two minutes and seven seconds remaining. And uh, the ball is spotted now at our own uh, 11. Carson, boy, it's going to be sacked. Yeah, he's going to be down at about the two-yard line. Jason Hargrave on the sack for South Carolina State. It's going to be second down, and uh, Rattlers have got to get out to the 30. Yeah, second and 28. For the Rattlers now. And more importantly, only a minute and 34 to play. And the clock continuing to run. Just throws that one out of bounds. The Rattlers have got to get something going down the middle. Tried to throw a little out. It wouldn't have been enough yards anyway. Just got to go ahead and right now. The Casey Glans option looks pretty good. Just hanging out there, let him fight with the guy and see if he can, if he doesn't come down with it, if he can draw the interference penalty. Yeah. Yeah, it's third down and 28 yards to go. We, we get a first down at the 30-yard line, but if we can get a, an interference call, an that's an automatic first down. Yeah. Casey is isolated over here to the near boundary. Triplets to the far side. It's James Owens in the backfield. Casey's got to throw the ball. Come on, Casey. And Carson got to throw it. Oh, and the uh, penalty marker comes out, Keith. The Rattlers could get a holding call, which is an automatic first down, and keep this drive alive. Good job that time by Carson yeah. to keep the play going. Yeah, and by time until the receiver came over. Absolutely. Now let's see what the infraction is. It's holding. It's holding against the defense. Automatic first down. Now let's see whether they'll spot the football. At the 12, I guess. Well, I think it's a 10-yard penalty. 10-yard penalty. Yeah, so we at the 12. First down, though. Yeah, but it's a first down. At the 12-yard line. Minute 15 to go. First down, 88. Yards to go. Sean Rattles are going to send KC Glines. Wide to the far boundary. Low triplets over here to the near side. Three receivers. And Carson, again with lots of pressure. Fires for his receiver coming back for the football. Who was immediately hit. It's Dwayne Harvey. Yeah, he's got to make that catch. He's got to make it. Because he tipped it, and it was almost picked off. Good job again by of Carson. Extending the play. Found his receiver. But you got to get the catch. Minute eight to go. Linworth Lennon has just come over to the sidelines with a, uh, a left leg injury. It looks like he's cramping up in the hamstring in the back of the calf. 
All right, thank you, Elton. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers. Minute eight to go in the ball game. Carson Royal steps up, fires downfield. That, did he catch it? Oh, and Sandy was out of bounds. Yeah, Sandy was out of bounds. It's he Trevon caught the Holmes. football. It's Trevon Holmes. Boy, he made the catch, Keith. They're saying he had a foot on the line right in front of the Rattler bench. And Coach Earl Holmes is not happy at all about that. Not at all. It's going to bring up third down and 10 now. And you see a lot of defensive backs coming on the field for actually the Bulldogs. Have their dime package, and they only have really one defensive lineman in the game. You need 10 yards. And we got two plays to make it, so you don't have to get it all in one play. And uh, another whistle. Carson Royal on the little reach around draw play to Owens, and Owens does his best. To, well, yeah, Owens does his best to try and make something happen out of that. Uh, Got to hurry, Carolina, though. South Carolina State was ready for it that time. Fourth down uh, for the Rattlers. Yeah. And 47 seconds remain. We've got about five yards to go. We need a first down. And for some reason, the clock is stopped. But we'll take it. Yeah, the referee just signaled to start the clock. And here we go. Got to move with some urgency now. Boy, it's taking a lot of time. Yeah, the back judge is telling them to reset the play clock. Okay. Oh, man, but we've got more people in motion. we got to snap it. Yeah, got to hurry. Carson looking to pass, fires. It's incomplete. And the penalty marker. marker comes out, so he may have interference. So yeah. another penalty could keep this Rattler drive alive. Yeah, Dwayne Harvey's calling for pass interference. It was either pass interference or holding. And it's interesting, Keith, that all these flags are here. And you're right, the assistant supervisor of officials is uh, sitting over in the main press box. And his son is the uh, line judge right here on this side. It's, it's With the L on right here. Yeah, it's, it, it's going against South Carolina State. It's going to give the Rattlers a first down. It's going to be a first down. 32 seconds remaining. Carson Royal, 32 seconds left. Boy, Carson is hit. That ball pops out. It's a scramble for the football. Boy, they're going to say it's a fumble and the Bulldogs it's take over. And, the Bulldogs will take over. and that's going to do it in Orangeburg today. Yeah, 23 seconds remaining. They're going to take a knee. And it's Camario McFadden, Mike, who comes up with a big fumble recovery. Carson was hit as he was trying to let that ball go. It looked like the empty hand came forward. The ball was knocked out. And the Bulldogs are going to recover at the 22. And with the Rattlers out of timeouts, all they need to do is take a knee. Yeah. I want to say hi to uh, Dr. Ann Wee Kimbrough checking in and listening this afternoon. And uh, Tola Thompson, my good friend, who said, thank God for Mike Thomas to keep you honest. I'm thanking him for, I'm thanking God for Mike Thomas too. You ain't said nothing, Tola. <laughs> Richard Q takes a knee. And that's the, the, the clock it. started, yep. That'll be the end of the ball game. Final score, great ball game here today though. 25 to 21. The Bulldogs of South Carolina State defeat the Rattlers and we'll be back with our post-game show after these words from our local sponsors from the Rattlers Sportsman.